Much of the technology we use today began as ideas developed in university labs. To invent the future Air Force, we're going around the country to listen to your ideas. This week, we travel to Harvard University and the Wyss Institute to talk to Professor Rob Wood about soft robots, robo-bees, and music theory. I'm Dan Berrigan, and this is not another acronym. Can you talk more about your research in robotics and what you, what you do? Yeah, we do um, what we collectively call the, the mechanical side of artificial intelligence. And what that really means is we uh, attempt to make these questions of AI easier uh, by virtue of the, the uh, materials manufacturing design of the robot itself. And so what types of robots do you then, do you then make? Yeah, so the types of small-scale robots that we work on are typically, I guess there's three categories now. There's, one is uh, small-scale flying robots that are, that are inspired by flies and bees. The other side is soft robotics, um, making robots out of materials the same sort of compliance as your skin. Now building little surgical devices as well. So a, a bit of a different realm, but uh, again, similar um, paradigms for fabrication, design, control. So what we're really trying to achieve are uh, robots that would be successful interacting with humans or natural environments. And that, that, I think that's maybe the bottom line. And so what does that actually mean? Well, if it's interacting with humans, then you have to be you know, careful about being too powerful or careful about being uh, sufficiently compliant such that if you're, um, you know, you knock into this robot, then it's not going to harm you. Or if you're wearing this device, then it has to be effective, but again, not overly powerful so that it's going to disrupt your biomechanics or even cause injury. Tune in next week when we talk more about RoboBees and B-list celebrities. Is this bad that I don't know these names? Until next time.